died to sin. Romans chapter 6 verse 1 and 2 What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we who died to sin, live any longer in it? Knowing that repentance is returning to God's grace, how can grace be a license or excuse to sin, as some claim? Grace is the power of God to overcome every sin. The authority of God's word proclaims that, sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law but under grace. No one can use God's grace to justify his or her sin. It is contrary to God's word, and contrary to the gospel of grace. True grace swallows up the destructive powers of sin. Sin is destructive and brings with it, a whole host of damaging consequences. The consequence of committing a sin, is not God's judgment or punishment. The destructive and painful effects, of your hand being burned, when you placed it on fire, are a consequence you face, for using your free choice destructively. The only way to help precious people, overcome the powers of sin, is to preach them into God's glorious grace. They get liberated and transformed, when they encounter the love of their Savior. And the more strongly we preach, God's glorious grace and unconditional love, the more we receive testimonies from people, who have been set free, from all kinds of sins and addictions. Now that's the power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Sin no longer dominates people, and true repentance occurs, when the gospel of grace, is preached. Thanks for watching. If you are blessed by this video, please don't forget to like and comment. Feel free to share with someone who needs God's grace right now. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. And watch other inspirational videos like this.